Being ready for a major disaster, it's no longer the realm of militiamen hidden in the mountains. The shaky economy, recent catastrophes, fueling this growing movement of soft core survivalists who could be your next door neighbors. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen introduces, introduces all of us to Colorado's Preppers Network. It's a story you'll see only on 7 News. If there were ever a disaster in Frederick, Colorado, from the outside looking in, nobody could really know. This house is probably where you'd want to be. Come tickle you. Ron and Heather Douglas and their six children may seem carefree, but they are new members of a growing online network getting ready for the worst. They call themselves preppers. Is this paranoid? No. I don't, we don't think so. We think we're very normal. But <laughs> Remember post Hurricane Katrina? The government was criticized for not delivering food and water fast enough, even in Colorado. A couple of years ago, we had three, four foot snow. People couldn't leave their house. We had neighbors that didn't have enough food for three days. But the Douglases were preppers when preppers weren't cool. Starting with a 72 hour emergency kit for everyone in the family granola bars, raisins, complete with food, water, flashlight. Glow stick and, and supplies for three paper. days for staying home. This is our, our emergency water storage. They have three months' water supply, a year's worth of oil changes, and a winter's warmth for their wood burning stove. The Douglas family has a food pantry to rival a grocery store, enough food to feed eight people for a year. It can start as simple as just buying a few extra things at the grocery store when you're there. They also stock up from their backyard garden. I really like to can. And so when we can grow a lot of it ourselves, it makes it so they eat more nutritious food and we also can put it up and save money. All this prepping has already paid off. I was out off-roading in, in our vehicle and we got stuck and I was way out there and I had the whole family with me. The car's emergency preparedness kit came in handy. The family camped while dad hiked to get help. I think it's our responsibility to be prepared for circumstances that happen in our lives. They're no survivalists. They live in the suburbs, but they say the preppers movement is the reason they can feel carefree. I think there's a sense of freedom that comes with being um, independent and relying upon yourself for things. It's, I don't think it can come any other way. In Frederick, I see you. Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. It's also recommend having a financial reserve, at least three months living expenses set aside in case you lose your job. For tips on creating your own food storage pantry and what you should include in your emergency supply kit, go to thedenverchannel.com.